this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. Um, today I am doing a flip and review on Floral Mandala's Folk Art Style um, Coloring Book. So this is Beautiful Hand Drawn Mandalas with Color Palette Suggestions by Debbie Densham. Here is the back side. Gives you some thumbnails right here. And it says, do you love color by number, but want to make your own coloring pages more unique? And the challenge to challenge your creative side. Each beautiful mandala comes with its own color palette suggestion. Use the suggested palette to place each color wherever you feel works best within each design. Have fun with color. Um, Debbie sent this to me for review, and I want to thank her. For sending this to me and I have colored an image and I will show you guys the one that I've colored but we will kind of just start the flip through here so here is the um, copyright information and um, her name her name is uh, Deborah Lee Densham and then we get started this um, particular book is on a premium paper and it has these pastel colors on the backing and this is a pretty blue color it says how to enjoy this book. Do you love color by number? Um, many color by numbers use similar uh, similar color palette. And if you love color by number, you may have a number of marker pen pencil colors that you use less often. You may want to challenge yourself by exploring where colors work best on each page, but it can be a little tricky nervous to go cold turkey. So basically she's given you these um, suggestive palettes so that if you're unsure what palette you wanna use on a page, you can use the suggestion palettes. If you don't want to use them, you can color it your own way. It is just to spark creativity. So yes. The next page is um, your nameplate page. There is no color palette on this one, so you can do whatever you want. And it has a nice yellow back on this side. And then I colored this first page. So the color palette's down here. It's a dark purple lavender, kind of like a pinky, pinky color, uh, blue, green, and a light green. And I tried to pull the right colors, but like, this color was supposed to match this, but it ended up turning out really light. And um, this one was supposed to match this, but it ended up being brighter than I thought. So I just kind of just rolled with it because these were the colors that I pulled. And I think it worked out. I did add uh, stickles to the center. So let me see if you guys can see in the light. You can see the little stickle dots I added to kind of give, um, well, I first did the stippling and then I added the stickles on top to give kind of like a snow globe feel. And I think it looks really nice. And so all I used was just permanent markers, Sharpie, Bic, Pen and Gear, Parku, just permanent markers. Nothing too fancy, and it turned out cute. And you can see the bleed through right here, um, but it actually looks kind of cool, so I don't mind having the bleed through. Here's the next one. Here's the color palette down here. Looks kind of rainbowish. And the imagery uh, has these nice dark lines which is nice for marker work but you can use pencils in this book it's not solely just for markers you could also use gel pens and these are pretty simple like minimalistic uh, mandalas so they're not overwhelming which is very inviting Look at that one with the little bees that's cute 
And that, of course, has a black and a yellow in the palette. That one has birds, and that one's really pretty in the center. You can explore and do different techniques, like you could add uh, markers and then shade it with pencil if you wanted. You could, um, like I did the stippling, where you did the little dots, which is fun. You could actually create waves and patterns, lines. The creativity possibilities are endless. Some butterflies on that one and each one of these colors is different on the back side I think we've got all pastel colors you guys can see that I actually really like her books because they're so stress-free and relaxing the images and coloring them and on this particular paper i found when i used um, my permanent markers they didn't have like severe bleed out because of this premium paper which is always nice there's that one and then at the end here, she gives you a color palette test page. So if you wanted to maybe choose your own color palette or maybe you found one on Pinterest you liked, you could put it right here and you could use it for one of those images if you wanted different color palettes that you think work best. She gives you another one. And then um, this is the last page, I believe it says. It says, thank you for purchasing my book. If you enjoyed coloring this, please consider leaving a review on Amazon. Your ratings and reviews help others in deciding to purchase this book and are greatly appreciated. And she leaves her email and her Instagram, which is color crazy colors. And there's the back side. So that is Floral Mandala's Folk Art Style by Debbie Densham. And um, I was going to do like a, like a speed coloring, but earlier um, I decided I would just color it on my own and my phone was dead. So I just colored the one on my own and um, I, I think it turned out really nice. So... Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I will leave the link to this book down in the description box below. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.